So, welcome, namaste, to the second week of the path to your potential. Um, in today, we're going to be exploring how to balance the, what we call the second chakra, the sacral chakra, called Svadhasthana. Svadhasthana literally means in her own abode, and it is located at the pelvis area. And if you ever see photos of it, um, as in here, it, the sacral chakra, chakra here, it's often depicted with the color orange. And it's an orange lotus, which has six petals. And it's associated with the water element, which means fluidity, adaptability, creativity, our emotions, sexual energy with the unconscious, and also an, its energetic function is to help us regulate our emotions and our desires so not to be driven by them. In, with the affirmation associated with the sac sacral chakra, it is, I am a creative being with unlimited potential. So today our practices for connecting to this sacral energy are going to be hip opening and uh, exercises and forward folds. The chakra, is, this chakra is about our emotional and emotional and sexual well-being. And it's about being in touch with our feelings, our sensuality, our passion. This chakra, it connects us to the more feminine aspects of ourselves. So it, it doesn't matter whether you're female or male but we all need to nourish what they call the yin, the receptive, the creative energy for our overall emotional well-being. So the location of this uh, is in the pelvis area. And um, as I mentioned, it's uh, affiliated with the water element. So when we activate this area, what we're gonna try to do is to soften our grip. Whether we're frozen physically or emotionally, we're gonna help us develop a sense of resilience, beauty, and grace. Um, this asanas and breathing work that we do, I want you to breathe deeply into that region of the sacral, I'm physically, emotional, and spiritually trying to tap into this place of finding peace and comfort in this, relative, in this area. So um, hopefully we'll get that connection to that feminine energy, but a part of you that's playful, or creative, intuitive, tender, passionate. So that's the more feminine qualities. So the practice today, we might have certain movements that are um, a little bit more fluid and flowing, not so rigid or in a line. So think about when we move, moving in a way that's sort of like, go with the flow and let it be a natural, a natural unfolding organically. So uh, let the energy guide you that there's no right or wrong. It's just sort of feeling this energy within. And uh, when you're, when this, when any chakras are overactive or underactive, they impact our physical and mental well-being. And when it's in balance, one feels in control of our actions and emotions. So we all are striving to find that balance. And, um, Problems, if there is an imbalance in this particular area, might be related to your reproductive organs, your kidney, your bladder, um, might be signs of an imbalance in the second chakra. Uh, also, a lack of motivation or controlling our emotions, um, feeling unimportant, sometimes feelings of guilt and shame are affiliated with that chakra as being imbalanced. So um, even people sometimes that have difficulty just ex are in constant denial with changes happening in their lives might have an imbalance there. Well, we're gonna tap into the area that's about two inches below your navel center. And um, we're gonna uh, you know, work with some practices today that hopefully will um, you know, get the fluids moving, circulation moving, and also the physical energy that's related to this chakra is the sense of taste. Um, so that's another thing that, uh, you know, one might want to know about this 
the sacral chakra. Um, and again, it's a lunar energy. So that feminine energy is lunar. Um, and so we'll do some moon salutations today, which hopes to bring in um, that it's a cooling, more of a cooling practice than a heating practice. So they, if the divine Luna force could speak, she might lovingly remind us to chill out before we burn out. So um, like a mother, the moon can teach us to slow down and listen to our own needs and also to be receptive to what change you might need to, you know, find in your life. So um, we will take into account if you feel some resistance about this, notice if you're having a mental resistance, maybe because there's some painful past memories that need to be dealt with or personal failures or just being self-critical. I mean, that's another uh, sign of that. So let go of that self-criticism and self-perfectionism and be more loving and kind to yourself. All right. So um, we will be beginning our practice um, using um, the block, what, what we did last week with the um, balancing the pelvis. And we're going to go a little bit deeper into exploring those particular areas. So um, I'm going to invite you to um, make your way on with one block or your pillow, whatever you, you're using to create a little bit of energetic connection to your inner thigh area. So we're going to explore resetting the pelvis and we're going to be doing something today called the pelvic clock. Okay. So um, I'll meet you over on the mat. So as you make your we'll way on down the onto your back, you're going to take the block at the longest level here and place that gently between your knees and allow your big toes or feet to touch. So we're going to be in a reclined position with the knees separated and the feet touching. And I'm just gonna invite you to just start here, maybe lightly rest your hands on your sacral area. So about two inches below your navel center, just lightly rest your hands in that area and tune into that physical part of your body. Just settle as we are gonna take just a moment to let ourselves relax and arrive. Let's all arrive together here, allowing ourselves to feel the support beneath our body, feel the support in the back of your head, your shoulders, your hips, your legs. And just trust now that Mother Earth is here to support us. As you start to settle in, notice your surroundings. So if there's distractions around you, try to tune that out and try to just be present for yourself today. Next, this time for this practice for you. Scan your body from the crown of your head down to your feet and notice where there's any physical ease at places of ease and comfort and notice if there's places of dis-ease and tension. And if you need to make a physical adjustment so that you can be a little bit more at ease in the physical body, please do so. Next, I invite you to notice the quality of your thoughts. What are you possibly feeling or inside of the moment? And just see, acknowledge those feelings and then just let them go. And now bring your attention into the breath. I am going to invite you to notice your breath where you're feeling it right now. As you gently inhale and exhale, soften, relax your facial features. And then gently start to bring your attention to the fullness of your breath. I invite you to find that block in between your inner thighs, your 
big toes are touching, you're resting on your back, your hands are lightly resting on your belly. And now I want you to breathe deeper into the lower belly, the sacral area, about two inches right below your belly, your navel center, and inhale deep into your fingertips so that you feel your belly expand. Rise with your inhale. And then as you exhale, allow the, the breath to slowly release out of the body on your exhale. And just stay with the flow of your breath for two or three more breath cycles. Just bring, bring your awareness deep into that second chakra, just above the root, just below the navel. Just connect with the feminine side, that energy, the energetic qualities, and know that this is affiliated with the water, the element water. Now, let your hands come down by your side, still maintaining the block in between your inner thighs. We're going to do what is called the pelvic reset. So we're going to just gently rock our knees side to side. You're not dropping your knees to the floor. It's a, just a gentle rock where you're lifting the hip up and then lowering it down and rocking gently from side to side like you're rocking the boat. And what we're just trying to do is awaken the back of your sacrum and pelvis with a gentle movement. Your, the block is between your inner thighs. Feet are touching. So you're feeling this openness through the pelvic floor as well. And then come back to center. And then you're going to change the direction of the block from the widest section to the middle, all right? And then place that in between your inner thighs, feet touching again. There's a little bit more of a squeezing action going on here. And you're gonna rock from side to side again. Back and forth. Just gently rock, lifting your hip and then lowering it and go and lifting the other hip side to side, like you're gently rocking the boat. And be aware of what those sensations are in the low back area and in the whole pelvic region. Good, and then I'm gonna invite you to release the block, just place it on the side next to you, and then lift both your knees just up above your hips so they're directly in line with the pelvis, Feel that your sacrum is grounding. Make two fists with your hands and place your fists between your knees. So you're going to actively squeeze your knees into your fists. At the same time, you're going to try to separate your knees with your fists. So there's an opposing action here. There's an isometric exercise going on. So you're going to apply enough energy between the two to create an isometric hole. So flex your feet, keep your shins parallel to the floor. The action happens on your exhale and your inhale is a relaxation, it's passive. So I invite you to inhale slowly and now on your exhale, actively press into your fists and actively press your knees towards your midline as you squeeze, exhale, exhale, exhale. And then inhale, relax. Energetically, you want to feel that energy going up your inner thighs right up through the pelvic floor with a gentle squeeze, all right? So let's try that again. Inhale is passive. On your exhale, I want you to squeeze, squeeze, press your fists away, squeeze your knees in, and then draw up through the pelvic floor a gentle squeeze, and then release. So the passive inhale, we're going to do that one more time. So make a passive inhale again. 
Now on your exhale, squeeze it all together. Squeeze, press your fists into the knees, press your knees into your fists, inner thigh squeeze up through the pelvic floor, gently squeeze in and up in what we call the mulabandha, that root lock, squeeze it all up and then release it all. Hug your knees into your chest and gently rock from side to side. And notice what energetic qualities you might be feeling. And then I'm gonna invite you to circle your knees. So we're releasing the lower back, continue to circle three times in one direction and then circle three times in the other direction. And then maybe hug both knees into your chest. As you exhale, bring your forehead up towards your knees and squeeze, relax. When you come back, relax your head to your mat and place both feet flat on the mat now. And still feel that energetic connection between your inner thighs. If you'd like to, you can take the block again and place the block between your inner thighs just to gently hold it there. It gives a little bit of a connective quality. You can really feel the connection there. But now I'm going to invite you to use your imagination, but we're going to do what is called the pelvic clock. So if you could imagine that your navel center, if you were looking at the face of a clock, is the number 12. The pubic bone is your number six. Then your left hip joint is the number three. And your right hip joint is the number nine. All right. So have that image in your mind's eye. And directly in the center where the hands of the clock would be is your sacral chakra, right? right in there, that area right in here is where it resides, that the spinning wheel of energy resides right in that center. And now if you could imagine placing a little marble, a little ball in that center, we're gonna move very small movements, very subtle, but we're gonna see if we can move that marble around the clock. So I'm gonna invite you to begin by gently tipping the marble towards your navel. So we are gonna gently Press your low back into the mat and that marble is going to slide right up to your navel. Take your time and really feel the energetic quality here. And now tip the, that marble from the 12 to the 6. Go all the way past the middle and tip it back towards the number 6. Now do that rocking motion nice and slow back and forth at least three, four, five times. And feel that gentle pelvic tilt as that marble is rolling back and forth between 12 and six. Be very mindful as you do this and just release any tension in that area. We'll do one more from 12 to six. And then I want you to bring that marble right back to the center. Just be aware of what that sensation is. Now, that marble is going to tip over to the number three. So gently tilt to the side, the number three, and then tilt it all the way over across to number nine. So now you're changing the direction of the movement, rolling the ball over to the number three, and then rolling it all the way over to the number nine. Now do that three, four, five times on your own. Just be very mindful of the hip rocking back and forth in that area of the back, low back region, sacral area, deep into the area of your sacral chakra in the pelvic region. Good. One more time, roll from three over to sit nine and then make it back to center. So the marble's back in the center of the sacral chakra. Now release the block if you're holding a block or a pillow, but I want you so that we're now going to energetically move the marble all the way around the clock. So we're gonna go in a clockwise direction, start with rolling the marble back to your 12, and now roll it over to one, two, three, four, 
five, six, come around to up to seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We went clockwise. Let's do that again. Roll the marble from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more time, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and stop at twelve. Now we're going to reverse counterclockwise from twelve, eleven, ten, nine, seven, six. Make sure you're all the way down to six, and then come up to five. One nice and slow. Let's do that again. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Back again last time. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, And one. Good job. Bring both knees into your chest. Rock from side to side. You might want to extend your legs out. Give them a good stretch. Press through your heels. And maybe take your hands to your inner thighs and gently separate the area. Stretch, point and flex your feet. Point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. And circle those ankles. One, two, three. And three, and circle the ankles the other way. One, two, and three. Bring your legs back in together. Hug your knees into your chest, chin to chest. And I'll invite you can either rock and roll up to sit or use your hands to press up as you come up into an upward position. Good job. Okay. And I'm going to invite you now to extend your legs, about it, big soles of your feet to touch, Baddha Konasana. Grab onto your ankles and sit up nice and tall. So feel that connection up the spine. All right. So feel the, the connection to all of your chakras now. So feel the root chakra down at the base of your spine, the sacral chakra, the Second chakra we just explored. The third chakra is your solar plexus, your navel center and above in that powerhouse. The fourth chakra is your heart center. The fifth chakra is your throat. Your sixth chakra is your third eye, the seat of your intuition. And the seventh is the crown just above your head, that connection to the divine energy above. So feel that energetic connection flowing up and down your spine, and then just gently do little butterfly. And then I'm gonna invite you to extend your legs out long. So nice wide stretch. So as you come into this position, if you find that it, you're feeling this is too much in the low back, sometimes placing a blanket underneath your hips will help. But if you're okay with this, make sure you're not sitting back in that bucket seat. Bring your hands to your pelvic hip. And I want you to actively press the pelvic pubic bone slightly forward so you feel the lift of your spine. Energetically, if your feet are too wide apart and you feel that's too much strain in your hamstrings, bring your legs closer together. All right, so feel that extension, knees pointing up, toes pointing up. Sitting nice and tall, roll your shoulders forward and up and down your back. Good. And now slide your right hand towards your right shin. We're going to inhale and then exhale. Come up and over and side bend over to the right. We're going to alternate sides now. Inhale, come up and down and exhale. Side bend over to your left. Stay grounded in your pelvis. We're going to repeat. Inhale, come up. Exhale, side bend over to your right. Inhale, come up. Side bend over to your left. One more side. One more time. Inhale, up. 
Exhale over to your right. Inhale up. Over to your left. Now, the next time we come up and over, I invite you to hang out just a little bit longer on the right. Reach as far as you can. Press through the heel of the extended leg and reach towards your toes. If you can't get to your toes, that's okay. If you want to turn around and face your, thigh, your right thigh, go right ahead and go into that forward fold there. Be mindful of your back, though, as we're slowly warming up. You don't want to press or bounce or go too far in the very early stages of your practice. Just listen to your body. Another big inhale here. And then as you exhale, come up and over. You're going to go all the way over to the other side and hold. Again, reach for your toe. If you choose to, you can bring your torso over the top of the left thigh and go into more of a forward fold. But listen to your body. Make sure you're protecting your lower back here. You don't want to overstretch the low back. A nice big deep inhale. A nice long, slow exhale. Make your way upright again. This time, move, put your hands in front of you. You can keep your knees slightly bent if it feels too much in your hamstrings. Hinge forward at your hips with a nice long, straight back. And then let your fingertips come in front of you. Flex your feet. Feel that hamstring stretch. Feel the connection through the root, through your, your, uh, right up through the crown of your head. Keep that length in your spine. Try not to round your back and just gently make your way slightly forward fold. If you start to feel yourself having to round your back, stop here. I just want you to feel that connection through the sit bones, out through your feet, through, and then from your root all the way up through your crown. Take another breath here. And then exhale, make your way back up. Bend your knees back in. Hug your knees to yourself. And then just bow your forehead to yourself like you're in a child's pose, a seated child's pose. Take another breath and sit up. Now I'm going to offer another uh, option here. If you'd like to um, sometimes to increase the energetic quality of this practice, you can sit on a block. So I'll invite you. You don't have to sit on a block, but if you want to, this just adds uh, a little bit more challenge as well as a little bit more have fun with yourself. This is a little bit more playful. So again, we want to get into that creative expression, being playful with ourselves, having that sense of humor with yourself as well. So start with just bringing your feet together again in this Baddha Konasana. And then I'm going to invite you to do what we call the yoga toe grip. So your index and middle finger grabs your big toe of... Um, starting with my right leg, so whatever you choose to start with, gently lift the heel off the floor. And as you do that, you're going to really need to connect to your core, that right into the area of the root and the second chakra and all the way up to the third chakra. You really got to connect to that sense of balance. And you're going to extend the right leg out to the side. So feel that energetic quality is stretching through. And you're going to sit up nice and tall. You have to maintain balance on this block. So you have to find and play with that a little bit. And again, remember, have a sense of humor with yourself as you do this. And then lower down. And then we're going to do the other side. So lift, left, left leg up, extend and reach. And if you can't straighten your leg for whatever reason, that's okay. Do the best you can. Notice the stretch. Press through the heel, extend, and try to maintain length up through your spine. And then come back to center. So now here's where if you're sitting on a block, it becomes extremely challenging to find the balance here because I'm going to ask you to lift up both. So if you can't find the balance on the block, come back down on your mat. That's okay. Don't, don't fret over that. But if you have a sense of humor with yourself and you want to see how this feels, remember to connect to that mula bandha, connecting to the deep inner quality of your muscles through the pelvic floor. Zip up your zipper so you're sitting up nice and tall. That connection will help you sustain balance and focus. 
Once you find balance, see if you can extend one leg and then maybe extend the other leg. And if that's not working, that's okay. Do the best you can, have a sense of humor with yourself, trying to find that balance between effort and ease, stable and steady. Good. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready to release, lower down and then relax. Good job. Now I'm gonna invite you to come off of your block and place that same block back into your inner thighs. Gently squeeze. We're gonna move a little bit more into the boat pose. So in the boat pose, you're gonna sit back, feel that connection through your sit bones, right? Rooting down, lifting up your sternum, lifting up your heart. Place your hands behind your knees, or if you have any low back pain today or issues, just keep your hands behind you. So you have many ways to modify this to make this accessible for you today. Sit up tall. If you have your hands behind the knees, see if you can lift your heels off the floor. See if you can extend your legs. Relax your shoulders. And then again, remember to soften your facial features. This is great for your core. Remember to zip that zipper up too. As you lift your sternum, lift your collarbone, and then maybe extend your arm. If you can, release your arms. If not, hold on to your thighs. If you want to go longer, extend your legs all the way up. Again, options, many options to explore. Take what you need today. Find that focus. Find that breath. Inhale and exhale for five, four, three, and one. Now lower your legs and release the block now. Come into that forward fold, stretch out your back. And then we're going to make our way onto all fours. So slowly bring yourself onto hands and knees. Find your tabletop pose. Place your palms directly underneath your shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Shoulder blades draw down the back and the back of your neck is nice and long. We're going to begin by inhale and extend the right foot back behind you. Feel that stretch. And then as you exhale, I'm gonna invite you to bend the knee and kick it up towards the ceiling, point your toe all the way up. That's your inhale. Now exhale, keeping the knee bent, exhale, knee the nose, exhale. Inhale, keep the knee bent, kick it up, forward and up, and then exhale, knee the nose, squeeze in and out, nice and tight. Inhale, point that foot up, keep the knee bent, look forward and up, press into the palms of your hands, exhale, round, we'll do two more, please. Inhale, up. So straight up, lifting up through the front of the pelvis. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one. Inhale, press up, toes pointed, knees bent. Press through the palms of your hands, extension. And then as you exhale, squeeze it in as tight as you can. Knee to nose, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then release. When you come release, come onto your shins and shake out your hands. Give them a good shake. The weight bearing effects of being on all fours, definitely you'll feel it in the wrist. So loosen up the wrist, go one way, then another way, shake it out just to get the blood flowing into the fingers, into the joints. As we prepare now to do this on, repeat that on the opposite side. So palms, again, back underneath your shoulders, spread your fingers nice and wide, shoulder blades down the back, and then we're going to extend the left leg behind you. And then I want you to lift the leg and bend the knee, the toes point up. So you're gonna maintain this bent knee through this particular move today. So this is your inhale, look forward and up on your exhale. Bring your knee into your nose nice and tight, exhale. Inhale, lift up, stretch through, right through that hip as high as you can point your toe up towards the ceiling, look forward and up. And then exhale, knee to nose, round the back, tuck your tailbone and squeeze it in nice and tight. Three more, inhale up, point your toe up towards the ceiling, 
open up through the front part of your body and exhale, squeeze. Two more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, squeeze. And now last one. Inhale, lift up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, knee to nose. Lower your knees. Then shift your hips back this time and come into Balasana, child's pose. You can bring your forehead towards the mat, but shake out your hands behind you. Open and close the wrists. And then make your way up onto all fours and step your right foot forward towards the right hand. Your left knee's on the floor. Press your pelvic towards the floor. Keep your spine long and look forward in front of you. So you feel that connection lengthening forward and then ex exhale, shift your hips back and shift back, flex your right foot Come into a hamstring stretch. We'll do that two more rounds, please. Inhale, walk your hands forward, press through the pelvic floor, look forward and up, lengthen your spine. Try not to collapse. So you're lengthening your spine, looking forward and up and then exhale, come back, shift your hips back. Hamstring stretch, and if you if it's in your practice, you can bring your torso or your forehead towards your shin into a nice forward fold. Last time, inhale, come forward and up, look up. Place your hands now on your thighs, lift your torso up, relax your shoulders. We're going to come into crescent lunge. Sweep your arms forward and up, crescent moon lunge. Maybe even bring your palms to touch if you'd like to bring your hands into the Kali Mudra or Temple Mudra. Lift your heart, lift your sternum, lengthen your tailbone, look forward and up. Find your focus, find your breath. Stay grounded through the ball of the right foot. Now inhale, I want you to side bend gently over to your left. So you feel a gentle stretch through the right side of your ribs. And then inhale back up to center. Find your balance. And then exhale gently over to your right. And then inhale, come all the way up. Now exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Relax the shoulder blades down the back. We're going to add a twist. So I'm going to invite you to gently bring your left elbow towards your right knee and look over to your right. As you twist your spine, feel the connection through the pelvic floor, through the sacrum, connect to that, draw it all in and up like you're zipping that zipper up, still lifting up through the crown of your head. And then when you're ready to exhale, release hands to the floor, shift your right foot back to meet your left and come back into child's pose. Drop your forearms on the mat. Separate your knees as wide as you can. Big toes touching and press back even deeper into the low back area and sacrum. Press all the way down to the earth. Maybe even bring your forehead to the mat or rest your forehead on your arm. Press back and breathe all the way down into the spinal area, into the back of your pelvis, and feel the energetic qualities of releasing anything that might feel stuck in that area, relaxing and letting go, letting the fluid now of the breath and energy to cleanse, to release, to let go. Make your way slowly back up. Step your left foot forward. Press the pelvic floor, pelvis towards the floor, lengthen your spine, lift your heart, lift your throat and look forward and up in front of you. So you really feel an expansion extension here. Feel the pelvis dropping in, feel the stretch in front of the right hip and then release it back. Walk your hands back into that nice hamstring stretch, foot flexed, bowing down, exhale. Walk your hands forward again. Bend your left knee. Make sure your knee stays over your ankle, but press the pelvic floor forward. Lengthen out your spine. The back of your shin is pressing into the mat. Your toenails are pressing into the mat, but your heart is lifted. Your gaze is forward. 
Inhale. On your exhale, shift your hips back. And if it's in your practice to do a deeper forward fold, go right ahead. Bring your forehead, your torso towards the left thigh. Flex your left foot as you bow inward. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly make your way back up, pressing forward. Slide your hands up towards your left thigh as you stack your shoulders over your pelvis. Set up as we prepare for crescent moon lunge. Square your hips, square your shoulders, sweep your arms forward and up. Arms can be parallel or palms can touch, or you can do the Kali Mudra. Relax your shoulder blades, lift your sternum, lift your heart, and really feel this beautiful deep opening. Feel the stretch in your hips and your pelvis here. Really get grounded. Lift your heart, lift your sternum, relax your shoulders, and find your breath. On your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Relax your shoulder blades down the back as we prepare for a twist. You're going to bring your right elbow towards your left knee and look over towards your left shoulder. Stay grounded through that left foot. So make sure you stay anchored as you revolve on your spine. Focus, feeling that energetic quality of a twist, going deep. Be mindful of your low back. If there's any twinges, back off. But feel the benefit of this beautiful twist. Inhale, as you exhale, unwind, place your hands back down on the floor, slide your left foot back to meet your right. Now slide your hands slightly forward of your shoulders. We're going to press up into a downward dog. So slowly tuck your toes, lift your knees and shift your hips up and back. As you find your downward dog today, perhaps pedal your feet. As you pedal your feet, Feel the stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Pedal as often as you need to, but eventually find your stillness. As you find your stillness, feel the connection of your hands and the palms of your hands in your mat. Feel the energy from the palms of your hands drawing up your arms and feel that connection down the back of your spine to the back of the pelvis, the back of the sacrum, the back of the Vajrasana Chakra. Energetically press through the backs of your hips, your hamstrings, without blocking your knees, all the way down to your heels and feel that energetic connection down to your feet. And then slowly bend your knees and walk your hands back towards your feet. Grab onto your elbows and maybe hang your head and just sway from side to side in a nice forward fold. And feel the energetic quality as you press your feet into the floor. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling if that's available to you. And just let the head hang. Maybe shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Then release your hands to the mat, press into your feet, bend your knees, and then sweep your arms out to the sides and come all the way up. Bring your palms all the way overhead and let your palms touch. Then maybe lift your sternum, lift your heart, and gently roll back into a gentle back bend. And then inhale, come all the way up, and then exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. And feel that energetic quality. Maybe just bow your head inwardly and let your hands come down to your side as you stand in your mountain, just observing those energetic qualities of standing now in a very strong stand in your own power mountain. I'm gonna invite you again, if you have a block to pick up your block, or pick up a pillow or a book. And we're gonna work through the six directions of the spine. So your feet are hip width distance apart. 
You're going to inhale, sweep the blocks in front of you, and then all the way up as you inhale. As you exhale, we're going to come all the way into a forward fold, and we're going to do that two more times. Exhale. Inhale, extend the block way out in front of you. Inhale, come all the way up, look up, maybe add a back bend. And then exhale, forward fold. Come back in a forward fold. Take your time. Exhale all the way down to the mat or the floor, whatever feels good in your body. Last time, inhale, extend the arms out. Bring the block all the way up. Gentle back bend. Last time, into a deep forward fold. Bow your head down. Inhale, come all the way up again. And now we're going to go right into a side bend. So put the block in your right hand. Lower the block slowly to the side. As you do that, look, let your gaze follow the block. And then inhale, bring the block slowly up. Bring it over your body, pass it to your left hand, and then slowly side bend over to the opposite side. Follow the block with your gaze. Inhale, come all the way up with the block. Exhale, lower it. To the opposite side. Side bend. Inhale up. Take your time. Use this like almost like a meditative movement, following the block as you move through the spine area. All the directions of the spine as we explore. Come up. One more set. Three times we're doing this each side. Use your own breath, your own cadence, your own movement through this practice as you lift up and as you exhale, bend to the opposite side. This will be the last one. Inhale, come on up. When you meet up at the top, I'll invite you to bring your block out in front of your chest. Relax your shoulders. Separate your feet a little bit wider than your hips. So we're going to add a twist here. Keep your knees soft. And when you twist, remember, you can lift your heel of the foot in the direction that you're heading. So you're going to take the block into your right hand. Keep your left arm out in front. But as you spin, look over your shoulder and then look behind you. As you twist, inhale, come back to center. And then you're going to put the block in the opposite arm. One arm stays out in front. The other arm with the block moves behind you. Exhale. And then you inhale back to center and the front. Keeping your shoulders relaxed as you spin on your axis, as you transfer the block to the right. Move mindfully with care, with focus, with dedication. Remember to stand tall. Lift up to the crown of your head. Stay really in touch to the sensations as you move through these twists. Be mindful of your back. Modify any way you need to. One more time to the right. Come back to center. And then last time, take your time as you move to the left. Spin on that axis of your spine. Make your way back to center. Exhale, release. And then you can place your block back down on the floor. And again, come back to mountain, just observing, noticing how that feels. Bringing your hands to your hips now, we're going to just do a little bit of uh, circular movement with the pelvis and hips. So imagine you're just going through that clock motion again, but we're going to go clockwise and circle front, side, back, side, side, back, side. See if you can make it fluid in a way that feels right in your body. Notice if one side has a sticky side, some one side, one hip might move slower than the ease. Just notice what you notice. There's no right or wrong. And then you're gonna go the opposite way. Notice how that feels in your body. Nice movement through. Good. 
and then make your way back up to center. Excellent. So now we're going to move into the moon salutation. So a moon salutation, particular movements, focusing on the moon. It's not going to, it'll be nice and slow. Take your time. We really want to, it's more, again, with the moon, we want to just connect to that feminine side. So if you come up towards the front of your mat, we're going to inhale all the way up. On your exhale, I'll invite you to place your hands behind your back. Draw the knuckles towards your tailbone. As you exhale now, fold forward into a forward fold. Inhale, place your hands down on the floor. And as you exhale, step your right foot back. Lower your right knee to the floor. Exhale. Inhale, come up into your crescent moon pose. And then we're going to exhale back down and come back into our downward facing dog. So step your left foot back to meet your right downward dog. Inhale, come through. So you drop your knees. We're going to do chest and chin to the floor. Inhale, back up to cobra. And you're going to exhale back to your down. Exhale back. And then inhale up to all fours, and then exhale back to downward facing dog. Relax your shoulders, soften your face. You're going to inhale, step the right foot forward now, lower the left knee to the floor. Inhale all the way up to crescent moon lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor, step your back foot forward, forward fold. Then inhale all the way up into the Kali Mudra, if you choose to, into a gentle back bend. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your hands down by your side, and now we'll do the other side. So inhale, sweep your arms up, back bend. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back, knuckles towards your spine. Lift your sternum, lift your heart. And then exhale, forward fold. Release your fingertips to the floor. Now step your left foot back, left knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. You can add the temple mudra. Just lift your arms, lift your heart, lift your sternum. Exhale, lower your hands to the floor and step back into your downward facing dog. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. <clears throat> Inhale, lower knees, chest and chin to floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Lower your right knee down. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Inhale up. Crescent lunge. Exhale. Step your back foot forward. Forward fold. Inhale. Come all the way up. Kali Mudra. Back bend. And exhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment here to pause. And just notice the effects of the sun salutation, of the moon salutation, excuse me. So feel the effects of the practice. So we'll continue to build on that. And I invite you, if you have a block, you might want to use the block in the next several moves. Inhale. Bring your arms all the way out and up. And then now exhale. Place your hands behind your back. Lift your heart. Lift your sternum. Exhale, forward fold. Release your hands to the floor as you bow down. Now inhale here. Right foot back. 
and inhale all the way up into a high lunge. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor, step your left foot back. Inhale, step your right foot forward, and inhale up to a high lunge. As you exhale here, let the heel of the back foot come to the floor and then lower your left hand to your left thigh and lift your right arm up. Keep it up. That right knee. We move into the exalted warrior. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, we're going to come through triangle, so straighten your right leg. Extend your right hand as far as you can go. And then reach through your pelvis. So I like to sometimes shift my pelvic, my left hip back, and I feel this right in the, I place my fingers right in the crease of my right thigh. And as I do that, slowly revolve your torso to the front. So you really feel like you're stacking your shoulders and you feel a nice lump in your spine. Be mindful that you don't let your head drift. Now, from here, with strong legs, so you're really grounding down for the outer edge of your right foot, outer edge of your left foot, let your right hand rest on your right thigh or below your knee, either above or below the knee. Don't rest right on the joint. Shoulders stacked, and then add that left arm up. So that you're in that triangle pose. The triangle really opens up through the pelvis, through the shoulders, and your spine. So feel that connection in this particular variation of triangle. Breathe deep. Nice big deep inhale. And a nice big deep exhale. Slowly now, bend your knee. Come back up. And then heels in, toes out. Move right into your goddess. Squeeze. Zip up through the zipper here. Feel that connection through the pelvic floor. Lengthen your tailbone at the same time. So there's a connection through the core. Lengthening of the tailbone. Stacking your shoulders in goddess. Really gather that energy in. Exhale. And then inhale. Reach up. And then exhale. Bring it in nice and tight. And then inhale. Reach up. Exhale, squeeze it in nice and tight. Really feel that connection. We'll do one more. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, squeeze it in. Now inhale, extend one arm over. As you go over, straighten the leg that you're going over. And then exhale back to goddess. Now inhale, straighten the other leg. Put your side, you're bending over. Keep the other knee bent. And then come back to goddess. Okay, we're going to do that a few more times. Straighten the leg, side bend, reach, and then come back to goddess. Exhale. Inhale, side bend, reach. Exhale, back to goddess. One more time. Inhale, side bend, reach. Exhale, back to goddess. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, back to goddess. Good. Come back to the five-pointed are, exhale, lower your arms. Now we're going to do triangle on the opposite side. So I'm going to bring my back foot toes a little bit forward. My back foot is going to now face the back edge of my mat. So I'm going to bend my left knee, place my hand on the back of my right thigh, and inhale up into exalted warrior. So we start here just to open up the spine, breathe into the side waist body here. Create spaciousness here as you inhale and exhale. So we, as we move into triangle, you're going to straighten the front leg. Bring your hands to your pelvis just to feel the pelvic bowl and shift this right hip back. I like to feel the crease of my inner left thigh. And here I actually, this is where I make my adjustment of my spine. I like to really feel this in my body so that I, I want to have a nice, create a lot of space in my side ribs and space in my pelvis. So feel that opening here. And then extend your left hand to where you're comfortable in your body. 
root down through your feet. So for some of you, keeping your hand on your thigh might be the right place. Some of you might be able to go deeper. Maybe you can go to your shin. But feel that length in your spine. Do not collapse into the side body. You want length here. That's part of the objection here is this is a lateral stretch getting into the side body. At the same time, opening up through the pelvis here, expanding hip bone to hip bone. So your right hip is reaching up and then reach that right hand up and expand. Feel that stretch in this triangle. It's a beautiful extension. Take one more breath. And then as we exhale, come back up. Good. Come back through your five-pointed star. Lift your arms overhead. Heel your feet in together. Bring your hands down to your center. Let your hands come by your side. And just observe the energetic qualities of that particular posture. Triangle really opens up back body, the side body, your legs in extension. So we're now going to move into the half moon pose. And we're going to add on to it just a bit. I like to use a block to help support me or balance. If you um, maybe even use a little table or the side edge of a couch if you're feeling instability here. But Let's work through this by extending your right foot forward, and you're going to place your right hand on the block. Now, that block is on a diagonal off of my right foot at about 18 inches in front. So that creates enough space so that when I transfer my weight into my right leg, I have my left hand on my hip just for stability here. Take my right hand onto the right block. Transfer the weight into the four corners of my standing leg. Try not to put a lot of weight into your hands. So the energy is more in the legs as you lift the back leg off the floor and stack your shoulders. As you do that, again, create that energetic line, long line side body. If you're feeling comfortable, lift up the upper arm and feel that great connection here. So really a nice expansiveness. Now I'm going to invite you to bend your left knee and tap the back of your right knee. Let your arm come down and around and you're going to circle up and out. Nice big fluid movement. Okay. So exhale, bend, tap your knee, the back knee, left knee taps the back of your right knee and then circle your arm back out and up half moon. One more time, bend your knee, tap, circle the arm as you come out and up. Nice big move, challenging the balance. And then slowly step your back foot to the floor, come back up, and then release. Whew. You feel the energetic quality of that. It's a big flowing movement. No right or wrong there, just do the best you can. Connect to the breath as we prepare for the other side. So again, now the block will be for your left hand, off or diagonal off of your left foot. Place your left hand on the block, transfer the weight into that left foot. And then when you're ready, lift the back leg up, stack your shoulders, extend your right arm up into your Ardha Chandrasana. Spread through your fingers nice and wide. Good. Once you're stable and steady, now the movement here is you're going, look, I like to look down at the floor, by the way. It helps me to be more stable. I want you to bend both knees, but bring your right knee and tap the back of your left knee and sweep your arm around and up in a big circle, like a big windmill, and come back up. We'll do that circular motion two more times. Tap your knee. Swing your arm around and up, big windmill arms, and then one more time, tap your knee, sweep your arm around and up, come back to your half moon, good job, and then transfer your back foot on the floor, inhale, come forward, five-pointed star, exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart, toe heel, meet up in the middle, 
and then just and feel those energetic quality of a big flowing move like that. You feel that energetic flow and the energetic qualities of a big move. All right, we're going to finish with one more posture. And this one is a revolved triangle. And revolved triangle, with the help of some blocks, can be very, very helpful. So if you have a block, do it. If not, you'll do, do the best you can. So I'm going to invite you to point your right foot forward, left foot back. Now, if you have a block, I'll invite you to take the block and put it on the inside edge of your right foot. All right. So in triangle, the legs are as straight as you comfortably can. And in this variation, I allow my back foot, I kick my heel out just a bit so that my left hip can come slightly forward. So we're going to inhale, you're going to sweep that left arm up. And then as you exhale, reach out, hinge from your hips. As you reach your left arm forward, place your left hand down on the block. Now that block can be under your left shoulder. It can be on the inside of your left right foot or it could be on the outside of your right foot. So I'll invite you to take the variation that feels good in your back body, but create length in your spine. And then as you're ready to rotate, twist and revolve your triangle as best you can. And then again, if you can add that right arm, reach that right arm up to the sky as you get grounded through the floor, through the pelvis, pelvic floor engagement, connect through that, Mula Banda. Feel the connection through the pelvis, zipping that up through your core and reaching up. Feel the energetic quality of a very difficult twist. And when you're ready to come out, bend your knees, lower your arms, sweep yourself up and come back through the center and then lower down. And observe, notice those energetic qualities of very deep, deep posture. Observe, breathe. And then we'll work on the opposite side. So again, left foot now is fronting the face, the back end of your mat. You're gonna take the block to the inside edge of your left foot hips to start, kick the heel of the right foot out so this right hips come slightly forward. Take your right arm up. As you exhale, hinge from your hips and place your right hand on the block. Again, the block can be under your shoulder. It could be inside the arch of your left foot. It could be on the outside edge of your left foot. That really depends on where you are in your practice. As you're doing that, lengthen your spine. Keep a long line of energy in your spine from the crown of your head out through your tailbone. When you're ready to add the twist, slowly start revolving your spine towards the left. You can extend and add your arm as you revolve, reverse twist and revolve triangle. Again, feel the connection through the pelvis, through the floor, energetic up through your feet. Spine, zipping it up, drawing it in and up right through the crown of your head. Feel the connection of energy. Don't allow the energy to escape. Keep it contained. And when you are ready to release, lower your arm, gently pivot your feet back to center. Come all the way up, feet together. Bring your hands to your heart, bow inwardly, and just feel the energetic qualities of those particular moves. And then inhale, sweep your arms out and up. And then as you exhale, bring yourself back down into a downward dog. From downward dog, I'll invite you to step your right foot forward. Roll your left knee to the floor. Nice big stretch here, inhale. And take your right foot out to the side as far as you want to the right. And then if you'd like to go deeper into this next stretch, and you can even use a block, come onto your forearms if you like. Really nice deep finishing stretch here, forward fold, or you can even go deeper onto your forearms if that's in your practice. 
or stay on your hands. So listen to your body here, but this, your right foot is off to the edge of the side of your mat. Knees and toes are pointing in the same direction, but you're taking a nice big deep stretch here through the pelvic floor, through the back body, through the psoas muscles. Beautiful big inhale and a beautiful exhale. Ready to come out, press up onto your hands, slide your right foot back, step your left foot forward, Again, move the left foot off your mat at an angle, knees and toes in the same direction. I come off my mat for a nice big stretch here through the pelvic floor. And again, you can stay up on your hands. You can come onto a block. You can come onto your forearms. Any variation that feels appropriate to finish off the stretch in your practice. Breathe deep. Nice big inhale and exhale, breathing deep into the back body. Slowly make your way back up. Slide your left foot back and then make your way onto your back. As we come onto our back, we're going to get ready, finishing off a couple of stretches and moving into relaxation. So if you want to have whatever props you need for relaxation available to you, make sure you have them nearby. But we'll finish coming onto our spine. We're gonna hug our knees, hug your knees into your chest. Nice big hug and then rock from side to side. And now place your feet as wide as your mat. Knees are bent, but nice big wide stance. And now I'll invite you to do windshield wipers with your knees. Lower your knees over to your right, and then lift them up, and then lower them over to your left. Then go back and forth just a few times. And then meet up at the middle. Hug your right knee in, left leg out. Nice stretch. Exhale, knee to nose. And then you're going to lower your head and switch your knee. Bring your left knee in, right leg out. Feel that stretch across the top of your groin and in the back of your thigh. Inhale. And then exhale, knee to nose. Stretch it out. Then extend both legs as far wide, as long as you can, towards the bottom of your mat. Extend both arms overhead. You're gonna finish with a nice long body stretch. So go as far as you can stretch your heels and extend your fingers overhead, lengthening the entire torso from toes to fingers as you inhale a nice, big, slow, deep breath. Like you're filling your lungs to capacity. And when you think you can't sip in any more air, sip in just a wee bit more. And then hold the breath for a moment or two. And when you're ready to release and relax, inhale out through the mouth and release it all. Big sigh. <sighs> Invite your entire body now to just relax and soften its grip. Let go and release its grip on stress, emotions, or anything that doesn't serve you. What have you been holding on to that you need to let go? As I invite you now to prepare yourself for relaxation, take whatever props you need to be as relaxed as possible. Cover yourself with a blanket and get yourself ready for a relaxed, guided relaxation. Allow yourself to be as comfortable as possible lying on your back on a firm surface. Allow your legs to naturally spread apart and your arms are a comfortable distance away from your body, palms up and your fingers slightly curled. Allow your head and neck to be totally supported as you invite your body to release all tension as you soften into the pose. 
Acknowledge how we hold ourselves as you let the weight of your physical body release. Feel the support beneath you and invite your mind to release. Today, there will be a flow of awareness practice where you cultivate awareness of an effortless breath that sweeps up and down your body. Invite your breath to release any trembling, any shakiness, any instability. And do so with releasing any effort from a deeper space. With your attention at the breath, it slowly starts to grow smooth and even. Allow the flow of the inhale to move into the flow of the exhale. With your own natural cadence, just allow this to be your cadence, your natural breath. Allow the breath to be deep. So that incomplete, so that you complete the inhale before you move into the exhale. Invite your mind to go inward as all of these qualities begin to culminate our ability of having a seamless flow of breath, an energetic quality. Your inhale and allow the breath to explore now the uppermost extent of your inner space as you inhale all the way up to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, you exhale all the way down to this point of the lowest place, which is your toes. And allow the breath to be sweeping upwards on the inhale, and sweeping downwards on the exhale. As I guide you through various points, allow the breath to flow upward on the inhale and downward on the exhale. As you inhale from your toes up to your crown, exhale from your crown down to your toes. Inhale from your toes to your crown, and now on your next exhale, from your crown down to your ankles. Inhale from your ankles up to your crown. Exhale from your crown to your ankle. Inhale from your ankles up to your crown. And as you exhale from your crown now to your knees. Inhale from your knees to your crown. Exhale from your crown to your knees. Inhale from your knees to your crown. Now exhale from your crown to your perineum, your root, the base of your spine. Inhale from the perineum up to your crown. Exhale from your perineum, from your crown to your perineum. Inhale from your perineum up to your crown. And exhale now from the crown to your navel center. Inhale from your navel center to your crown. Exhale from your crown to your navel center. Inhale from your navel center to your crown. Exhale from your crown to your navel center. Inhale from your navel center to your crown. Exhale from your crown now to your heart center. From your heart, inhale up to your crown. Exhale from your crown to your heart. Inhale from your heart to your crown. Exhale from your crown now to your throat. Inhale from your throat to your crown. Exhale from your crown to your throat. Inhale from your throat to your crown. Exhale from the crown 
to your third eye, the center of your forehead. Inhale from the center of your forehead up to the crown of your head. And exhale from your crown of your head to your forehead. Inhale again from your center of your forehead up to the crown of your head. And now exhale out from the crown to your nostrils. Inhale from the nostrils all the way up to the crown of your head. And then exhale out through your nostrils. And just release your attention to the flow of any particular point as you just breathe here for a few more rounds of breath. And then very slowly, we're going to move from this space of resting on our back to gently make your way over to your side, keeping maybe your eyes still closed and just make your way up into a comfortable seated position. As we continue to stay inward, withdraw your mind from all directions, but just, just become aware as you come into that seated position of your body and the space it occupies. So as you find that comfortable seated position, just allow yourself to come back to your breath. Find the rhythm of your breath as you find that comfortable meditative pose. Back of your neck is long, the spine is long, your body is upright. You feel the seat beneath you, comfortable, stable base. But as you bring your attention now to the center of your forehead and take three deep breaths here, right at the center of your forehead. Take one deep, complete breath at the next point, the center between your eyebrows. One breath. Your eyes. One breath. Your nostrils. One breath. Your throat. One breath. Your shoulders, one breath. Your upper arms, one breath. Your elbows, one breath. Your wrists, one breath. Your palms, one breath. Allow your attention to go to your fingertips and take two breaths. One breath at your palm. Your wrist, one breath. Your elbows, one breath. Your upper arms, one breath. Your shoulders, one breath. Your throat, one breath. Your heart, one breath. The bottom of your sternum, one breath. Your navel center, one breath. Your pelvis, one breath. Your perineum, two breaths. Top.
pelvis, one breath. Navel center, one breath. Bottom of your sternum, one breath. Heart center, one breath. Throat, one breath. Nostrils, one breath. Eyes, one breath. Eyebrow center, one breath. Center of the forehead, one breath. And then the crown of your head, allow your breath to breathe there for several rounds. And on your next exhale, as you exhale, feel the combined force, forces of your mind and breath descending down from the crown, sweeping down through your forehead, eyebrow, nostril, throat, heart, sternum, navel center, pelvis, all the way to the perineum and then exhale. And then inhale all the way up from the perineum to the crown of your head. And then sweeping exhale from the crown of your head down to the base of your spine. And continue to do this long sweeping inhale on the way up from the base to the crown and then exhale from the crown to the base. A few more breaths. We'll do that for about eight or nine more breaths. And inhale all the way up to the crown of your head. And then on your next exhale, all the way down to the perineum. And then let it go. And just, just very slowly and mindfully now, just allow your hands to float up to your heart. Maybe gently bow your head inward. Take a moment to pause. Just feel the effects of the practice today. As you bow inwardly, I invite you to consider one blessing today in your life that you can be grateful for. As I am grateful to all of you for allowing me the honor to be here today to hold this space and to share these practices with you. So I wish you peace. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you.